My trip and short hiatus were cause for far more typological reflection than I had originally planned on, and this video is my attempt to formally consolidate my thoughts. What I wish to present in this video is a rundown of the typology architecture, but with the added insight of one more opposition, in addition to the standard extroversion versus introversion, perception versus judgment, and all of the subdivisions involved there. This new opposition is effectively between sensation and thinking versus intuition and feeling. This is by no means my original idea. Jung drew attention to it in his writings. Celebrity Types has made mention of it. Boy Akinwande has noted it in his Function Axis series on Celebrity Types. And many other typologists in the community have had suspicions or expressed their own takes on the notion that sensation and thinking have a certain affinity for each other that directly opposes that shared by intuition and feeling. This video will discuss my own take on just what this affinity is and what effect it has on an understanding of the typological system that I work with. Sensation and thinking, I believe, can both be described roughly as empirical functions, quote, in the very limited and unique sense that they are concerned with or related to what is simply given in a situation, the given data. Intuition and feeling, on the other hand, can be described as interpretative functions and that they are concerned with or related to what is, quote, added to the given in a situation i.e. reading into the information presented or the given data presented. This opposition between empirical and interpretative is essentially the same as my own differentiation between sensation and intuition alone, in that the former, sensation, perceives what is present, what is actually there, while intuition always goes beyond that immediate data to the possibilities, associations, etc. that can be made with that data. I now believe that this opposition can be equally applied to thinking and feeling, insofar as thinking is evaluation based on what is given, while the latter, feeling, is evaluation based on a reading into the information. The first and most striking implication of this notion is that it helps justify and explain why the functions come in pairs, and even why each individual necessarily needs both a perception and judgment axis. It is because everything in the typological system I have heretofore constructed and described follows this one fundamental opposition of, quote, given and read into. Thinking is always paired with feeling precisely because they are interdependent in the way described above. The subject must read into what is given. Without the interpretation or reading into, the given becomes essentially meaningless, as meaning has not been granted to it through organization, arrangement, categorization, conceptualization, etc. Likewise, no such interpretation could occur in the first place unless the given data being interpreted is apprehended clearly. One might then easily theorize that when an individual is processing material through a particular function, say, introverted intuition, it is not working in isolation, even though we can consider it in, isolations, the, in isolation theoretically. Because intuition is by definition interpretation, and this interpretation cannot occur unless the data has been clearly apprehended somehow. This would then theoretically be occurring unconsciously through extroverted sensation. The terms do not just apply to the four functions, by the way, but are also at work in the more fundamental oppositions of extroversion, introversion, perception, judgment, uh, and so forth. Extroversion, insofar as it seeks to orient itself according to what is given by the environment, minus any subjective interference or bias, is clearly empirical in the sense defined. Introversion, on the other hand, is altogether interpretative, insofar as it orients itself according to what the subject makes of the objective information presented. Thus, why there is no such thing as an S-E-N-E -E axis. S-E, as apprehension of an objective given, presupposes the, sub presupposes the subjective interpretation of an I. As a psychological concept, it makes no more sense to posit it isolated from an I than to say there could be light without any threat of darkness. 
There is no object without a knowing subject, and no subject without an object to be known. There is no given without an interpretation of it, and no interpretation without a given. In this sense, then, the argument could easily be made that actually the fundamental opposition I'm trying to describe here is not a separate concept of given and read into, but rather these are really just part of the description inherent in extroversion and introversion respectively. One could then construct a tree chart like this that I have now put up on the screen, showing the progression from immediate given to removed interpretation, from the object progressing all the way back through the subject. Quite frankly, you can probably tell that I actually like this interpretation. I, I like this version much better. Um, it, it seems to represent things a little bit more clearer, but I only kind of came up with that as I really started looking over this in the video. So anyway, I'm not going to get ahead of myself. I will continue applying the notion as a sort of separate description. Continuing on, perception and judgment present the opposition even more clearly. Perception simply takes in the information while judgment provides an evaluation of it. They do not exist separate, but they must work together. Hence why each type is posited as the cooperation of both a perception and judgment axis. One axis cannot be without the other. In this way, the typological system can be understood as a fractal sequence of oppositions. Um, thus... Sensation is, quote, empirical perception, or the apprehension of the given, i.e. apprehension proper, just sort of pure apprehension as we normally think of it. Thinking is empirical judgment, or the evaluation based on the given, the given data, i.e. basic interpretation in terms of given ends. Intuition is interpretative perception, or apprehension via reading into the given, uh, i.e. you could simply just say this is reading into proper, whereas feeling is interpretative judgment or evaluation based on a reading of the given, i.e. evaluating how something, quote, feels, its tone, or its mood, or its desirability, or its value. I have arranged these in order of most empirical to most interpretative, and contrary to my own typical scaling of these things that I've often implied, um, or said, actually, it is feeling that is actually more, quote, removed from reality than intuition is. And that sounds like uh, a smack against feeling, and it's not meant to, obviously, because this isn't a value scale. It's just what this would seem to imply that feeling um, is the most interpretative. It does the most reading into the data, even more than intuition. So in the next video, this is a shorter video, in the next video I will discuss the effect that this has directly on the conception of cognitive functions. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this, I hope you found it useful, and I will talk to you in that next video. Thank you.